We're being asked to find out how far a car will travel in a certain number of rotations based on the diameter of that tire. So if the tire has a diameter of 20.8, how far will it travel in one rotation? That's asking if we start down here, this is where the tire is touching the road, and that tire rotates all the way around, how far has it traveled? Well, we have, the, we have two formulas to choose from. One is circumference, so we want to find the circumference, the outer distance around that circle, and we can either do 2 pi r, which means we double the value of pi, which is 3.14, times the radius. Well, radius is half the distance across a circle. Okay, well if I'm being asked to double the radius, that means I need half the distance across the circle twice. Hmm, That's, that also equals the diameter. So if we're given the diameter, we can work with that value instead of converting it to radius, doubling it to then get back to the diameter value and multiplying it by 3.14. So we take 20.8 and we are going to say, well, if we have that one time, what's the circumference around? 20.8 times 3.14 gives us 65 and 0.312 inches. So it's going to travel just over 65 inches in one rotation. And the directions do ask for you to go ahead and include all decimal values rather than an approximation by rounding. So now we have to figure out, well, how far do I travel in five rotations? Well, I know if I do 65.312 in one rotation, I need to multiply this value by five to find out how far I go. So when I multiply that by five, I get 326 point five six inches okay so then to find out well if that's how far I go in five rotations how far do I go in 30 rotations you have two different sets of values you can choose we know that five times six gets us 30 so we could take the five rotations value and multiply it by six to find out how much that is for 30 rotations so if we do that times six we get 1,959 and 36 inches. We can also then double check our calculations were right by saying if this is one rotation's value, I have this 30 times to get the 30 rotation's value. So 65.312 times 30 also gives me 1,959.36 inches. The next couple of questions relates to this baseline value. We would call this a unit rate. For every one of these, I have 65.312 of those, okay? So for question number two, it asks, how far does the car wheel travel in X rotations? Well, we don't know how many rotations we're, we have, so we need to set up an expression that will let us find that value once we know how many rotations we took part in. So we set our baseline of 65,312, and I have this X number of times. Well, what did we do to 65 to find out how, many, how far we went in five rotations? We multiplied it by five. To find out how far we went in 30 rotations, we multiplied it by 30. Well, if now we have an unknown number of rotations, we're multiplying this base value by X, so that when we're told how many rotations we have, we then multiply it by how far we go per rotation. Everything else was just either multiplying the number of rotations by the diameter, which does not give us the total distance around, or it was adding the number of rotations to how far you travel in one, which if you did five rotations, you would only be adding five to 65, which left us at 70. Well, based on what we did in our previous calculations, we were going over 300 inches in five rotations. So just the addition of the rotation value wouldn't have gotten us what we needed. We needed the multiplication. Then if it wants to know, well, how many rotations would we travel if we went one mile? Well, that's saying I have this total distance of 63,360 inches within one mile. And each rotation, I rotate once, I go 65 plus. Another rotation, over 65, over 65. 
What I'm trying to find out is how many times I have this 65 plus in here and how many times I can take it out of the total distance. So that is letting me know that this is an instance of division. So I need to take how far, what my total amount is and how many times I can take one rotation's value out of it. So I plug in 63,360. 360 um, and then divide it by 65.312 and that's going to give me 970.11 so in this case we can go ahead and say an approximation value because it says round to the nearest whole number this is closest to just 970 so we would go about 970 rotations in one mile Our next story problem now involves a bike wheel and they give us the radius because we have the radius we want to go ahead and use the radius formula for circumference. We double the radius and then we multiply it by 3.14. So if our bike has a radius of 13 I need to double that to get 26. Now that I have the 26 by multiplying those two values I multiply it by the remaining term which is 3.14 and I get a total distance in one rotation of 81.64. Now that might seem kind of silly because the first one was a car wheel and it has a smaller rotation or a smaller circumference than this bike wheel. We don't question the numbers, we just solve based on the formula whether it makes sense or not. Okay, and then same thing that we did last time, we need to find out how far we went in five rotations. So I take 81.64 and I'm going to multiply that by five times five which gives me 408.2 inches in distance. Now, just like the last time, I can either take this five rotations value and multiply it by six, because that would account for 30 rotations, or I can go back to my base value, multiply it by 30 to also get how far I go in 30 rotations. Because I have the five rotations on my calculator already, I'm just gonna go ahead and multiply this by six, and I get a total of 2,449.2 inches. Okay, so how far does this bike wheel travel in X rotations? Again, we're using our unit rate of this far per rotation and picking 81.64 X. So that whenever we find out how many rotations we have, we multiply it by the distance we travel in each rotation and it gives us a total distance value. How many bike rotations are in one mile? Again, we have 63,360 inches within a mile. And I'm trying to find out how many times I can take this bike circumference out of it. And that lets me know the number of rotations. Just because, just like I use multiplication to find distance, I have to use division to find rotations. So I take our 63,360 total inches in a mile and divide it by how far I go in each rotation and I get 776.09 which just as a whole number is 776 rotations for question number six. Now our last couple of questions already give us circumference and they want to calculate they want to have us calculate quantity of rotations. So the first one says the circumference of a car wheel is about 65 inches. If the car wheel rotates once per second, how far does the tra car travel in one second? Well, if it rotates once, and this is how far, it how, if, how far it goes every time it rotates, it means it travels 65 inches. So then how far can the tra car travel in one minute? Well, there are 60 seconds in a minute, so that means I have a rotation 60 times. So I take 65 and I multiply it by 60 to get 3,900 inches. Don't forget the unit of measurement. Then it says if the car wheel rotates once per second, about how many miles does the car travel in one hour? Okay, so that means 360 seconds. This is going to be a multi-step process. I travel 65 inches per second. How far do I go in an hour? That means I have this number, this distance per rotation, 3,000 
600 times because this is how many seconds are within one hour. So when I multiply the two together, 3600 times 65, I get 234,000 in extra lump there inches are covered in one hour. Okay? Well, how far is that in miles? Okay? Well, I go this distance and I need to figure out how many miles I can take out of this quantity. But taking out always means division. This is how much I have. How much does it take to make a whole mile? It takes 63,360 inches. So I need to find out how many times I'm taking that out of this larger quantity. So I take the 234,000 and I'm gonna divide it by 63,360 and I get 3.693 dot dot dot. And it asked for us to, oh, it gave us multiple choice. So we needed the three, 0.69 miles. Finally, if the car wheel rotates five times per second, about how many miles does the car travel in one hour? So we go back here, this is how far it travels in one rotation, and it's able to do five of these in a second, okay? So I have to multiply that by five. So 65 times five means it goes 325 inches per second, okay? So now, instead of having 65 times the number of seconds in an hour, we have 325 times 3,600 because I go this far in one second and I have this many seconds, so I have to multiply the two together, which gives me 1 million. 170,000 inches in an hour. So how far is that? In miles. We're then dividing by the number of miles, or number of inches in a mile to find out how many times I can take that out, okay? So we divide our million value by 63,360, and we get 18.465, generally just have two decimal places. 65 is closer to 70, so we'll turn the six into a seven. 18.47 miles is how far you would travel. Oh, and I did say two decimal places. The how far you would travel in one hour with five rotations per second.